There's a guy in the shop with a page from the Breach's Bible from 1594. He's asking for $5,000, and I'm really not sure how rare this is. The Bible is the most printed book in the world, so Rebecca's coming down to take a look and let me know her thoughts. This is the page of the Bible I called you about, and when it comes to the Bible, I know it can be worth zero or it can be worth a lot of money, so I figured I should call you down to take a look at it. All right. So you can see here that they say the famous Breaches Bible, and Breaches is actually a nickname because of a verse in this Bible that was translated in kind of a funny way. It's right when Adam and Eve are leaving the Garden of Eden, and they talk about the fig leaves that they grabbed to cover themselves. Oh. And they say they cover it and make breaches out of the fig leaves. And that kind of stuck as the funny name for this Bible. It's also known as the Geneva Bible because it was printed in Geneva, Switzerland. And that was because this was during the reign of of Queen Mary, the Catholic Bloody Mary, who was not really in favor of another English translation, so they had to leave the country in order to work on it. It's an important Bible. This was the Bible that Shakespeare would have used. This is the Bible that the pilgrims on the Mayflower carried with them. It's really important culturally. The thing that's tricky about this is that the Bible is such a popular book a lot of people wanted copies. It was a regular daily ritual for people even then. And what that meant was that you are seeing thousands of copies being printed even in the 16th century. And there were many books printed before this. And these days you can even still find full, complete copies of 1590s Breaches Bibles for sale pretty easily. Oh, wow. So unfortunately, the leaf alone doesn't really have a lot of collectible value. Man, that sucks. So, it doesn't have a lot of collectible market value, but does it have a lot of monetary value? Because <laughs> that's what matters here at this pawn shop. I like monetary value. Yes, I, I know that's what you're hoping for, but if someone were to buy this, I'd expect a retail price of around $200. It's about the cost of the frame. Cost of the frame. All right. Yep. All right, well, it's been a pleasure, Rebecca. Sorry, I don't have a million dollar page out of the Bible for you, but... Uh, you win some, you lose some. Thanks for geeking out with me. Yep, happy to do so. Take care. You too. All right, well, you heard everything Rebecca had to say. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make you an offer today. It's really cool. Hopefully you learned something, and good luck selling it. Thanks, brother. You too. So even though I didn't make a deal today, I'm not going home with no money, but I'm still going to find a way to get more tattoos. 